Okay, to start off, you're going to need a character. So, I've quickly drawn one. As you'll notice, he's missing something. A mouth, which is kind of important for lip sync. But what you've got to be careful is you don't put it on the same layer as this guy. You make a new layer. And don't call it mouth. Call it closed. Okay, so then we're just going to make a mouth. Like that. Just make it a bit thicker so we can actually see it. Five. Okay. So he's got a closed mouth. But we want to do lip sync, so we're going to need more than just a closed mouth. So let's create another mouth. Let's call it O. Make another layer. And we'll call this one E slash smile. If you're ever unsure on what a letter looks like for a mouth, just do it yourself, make the sound. Okay, we're going to have to give this one teeth, because it's an E. Let's move that down there. Don't want it overlapping over there to the mouth. And then we'll just make one more for now, and we'll call it L, which will be for making L sounds. Which will be similar to E-Smile, so we'll just copy, paste, and move some of these up. Put a tongue in. Okay, now what we need to do is put these all together into one layer. I'm going to make it into a switch layer. So let's put L, E smile, O, and closed. And let's call that mouth. Now, if you want to change between it, all you need to do is right click on it and choose which one you want. Okay, we'll keep it closed for now. Now what we need is our audio track. Now I've selected one. Uh, I'm going to import it, soundtrack. I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. Okay. So now we have that, we can assign it to the mouth. So we go to the major sounds. Now you hear it is kind of, uh, it's broken up, but you have to work out where each sound starts and ends. So we'll put smile for there. Then we'll put O. Then we'll put closed. Then we'll put O again. Put closed. O.
For this part, I think it's useful to add in an extra one that I have missed out, and I'll add in A, which is a more wide open one. I can change that. Huh? Oh, I should keep that one as E. So you just need to really play around with it until you think you got the right sound. Okay, so now I have added all the keyframes and I found that I needed to add an extra mouth called teeth for t sounds or s sounds okay so now just to emphasize it we're going to just do a tiny little bit of animation here so we'll add a blink So at this point where he says le, we'll make his eyes right. And now we have our animation with voice. So let's go ahead and export. I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. Okay. So you can obviously make it a lot more complex with the mouth movements and the characters, but that's the basics how you do it. You may need a lot more mouths than I got away with. I had six. If you want to make it more natural, you're going to have to add in more movements. But that's the basics on how to do it. Now if you want to add this to a character, 